Hey guys, it is Lily here from Crafting Through Mental Health and this month for April is Autism Awareness Month so every week on a Friday I will be uploading a autism video. Today we are talking about stimming. So many people that are autistic may know what stimming is. I actually had no idea what it was until maybe a week or so ago when I was watching some American autistic YouTubers talk about it and I was like what? is stimming. I had no idea. I did ask um, a friend who's autistic from the UK and they knew what it was so maybe it was just me but I don't know maybe it's used more in America I don't know but this video is all about it and what it is to explain to people that are autistic that might not know who it, what it is or parents and um, people that just want to learn a little bit more about autism. I'm also going to put a poll up here. Do you know what stimming is? Do you not know what stimming is? Uh, let me know in the poll. What is stimming? So stimming stands for self-stimulation or self-stimulatory behaviour. Oh, what a mouthful. So that's why it's shortened down to stimming. So it's a little bit more easier to understand. Stimming includes behaviour like flapping hands, uh, rocking, spinning and reputation of words which is also known as echolalia but also can include head banging and picking at fingers or uh, biting your nails or something like that I can actually I can tell I'm doing it right now <laughs> like I keep doing it and I need to stop <laughs> my one it's always been just picking at my fingers I you know it's not graphic at the moment but you can I've, I've stained my finger with purple but like right there I've all picked it it's normally around here it can get really quite red and quite bad stimming is normally always a symptom of autism there are a few percentage that don't stim if you are autistic but it is very very high but if you are thinking but i do that and i'm not autistic about 10 percent of the population that are not autistic can also stim as well so why do people stim well, it can happen at any time if you're relaxed or anything like that, but I do find it gets worse if they are in a more anxious situation. Maybe they're out in public and they don't handle, you know, loud noises very well. I find that personally with myself, I, like I was just saying, I naturally do it. I was just about to start doing it now. I'm sure others will agree with me on this one, but I find that I stim a lot worse when I'm anxious or in a stressful situation. Like recently when I went up to North and was traveling all week, um, I had a funeral to go to. I was quite bad and coming back when I was ridiculously tired and trying to sort out videos and stuff like that, I would just not even notice I'm doing it and notice that my hands were kind of a bit more cut. I need to stop myself from stimming, but why? So, like I said earlier, there are symptoms like uh, echolalia, where you repeat phrases or words, and there are, you know, you can rock back and forth, or do a bit of spinning, or flap your hands, which I quite often quite do when I'm like excited, or I'm like, oh, I can't stand it. I, I, I'm a bit of a, I can flap, and I just feel like, I feel like, it's like a weird energy sort of thing that you need to let out. Like I'm never sort of a non-stop all the time. I never just sit there and do nothing. So I don't know if other people agree with me on that one. It's the, that sort of thing that you've always got to be constantly doing something. But I need to personally stop because at the end of the day, mine is causing me harm. It is the same with head banging and anything like that. If your child or your friend or yourself is doing something, yes, it's not, um, to flap your hands isn't a socially accepted thing, but who cares, like people, n like, people that aren't autistic might bite their fingernails, but they, it's socially accepted that that's okay, but even though it's a lot, a lot more unhygienic. So, yes, you might feel like, oh, I need to stop this behaviour, you don't have to, it's sort, I feel like it's sort of helping with those situations especially if it's a more stressful situation those sort of situations don't stop someone from stimming if they aren't doing any harm to themselves or others sadly mine is it's not bad harm uh it's just you know 
I, my hands do get very painful after a while. Um, at first it's not too bad, but I can do it where it, it's painful to use my fingers and stuff like that. So, and also with bed um, head banging as well, I used to do that when I was a lot younger, but I do think that was more of a self-harm thing when I was about nine. That does cause damage, it can, you know, it's to any it, to anyone, head banging is damaging, so therefore, you need to stop the stimming but what you know stimming is an okay behavior have so you've got someone that is harming themselves or others with stimming and how do you stop that because i've had literal people pull my hands away to stop me from doing it and it feels as though it's like if you have an addiction to smoking and someone pulls away that cigarette it feels Oh, it's, it's a horrible, horrible feeling. And it's so, I've gotten so angry before because I've been like, don't make me stop this because this is how I'm coping by doing this. So maybe you have a child like that. How do you do a solution? Their solution is stimming toys. So this is one that's quite popular at the moment. Um, it's sort of like a stress ball, but you kind of squish it down and it feels really nice. It smells like mango and then it will just, gently sort of rise up and you can get them in this sort of size maybe even bigger but you can get them in quite small compact little sizes um fidget spinners we all know what those are so i'm <laughs> just <laughs> just doing my my toy this is just quite nice i i needed to buy one because i knew i was getting worse with my hand picking and i need to stop that just because it's so painful and I've always wondered I remember watching other people talk about like picking at their skin for other reasons there is a word for it and I used to think like I do that but I never felt like connected and when I finally found out what stimming was I finally was like light bulb moment that's what it is now I have a big old thank you to my mate who I went around for my birthday I won't say names in case you know he doesn't want to um be on the channel and think but he gave me one of these also sort of on the spectrum as well and i was like oh just for for the evening and he was like no have it and i was like <gasps> and it's a fidget cube so you have this thing that you can pull out and you know rotate you got this ball that you can press in you got these i would prefer if these were a little bit like harder um and then you got these buttons You've got like a smooth edge. Uh, you've got the, that's one of my favorites, but it is noisy. So I sometimes in public will be like, nah. And then you've got like a rotatey thing. I think I prefer the fidget cubes to the fidget spinners and to this, cause well, this does feel nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. I prefer this because I can just put this in my bag and I noticed the other day when I was at B&M I was like kind of starting to do it so I just got this out and was just walking around like with that and at the end of the day um, it is part of my autism and if anyone comments or gives you that bit of a weird look I don't really care at the end of the day because I'm like well that's I need I'm doing this to help myself and it Am I harming anyone by doing this? I can understand that the noise gets annoying, so if that gets annoying on certain people, I get that. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's, I don't really care what other people think, but yes, oh. So, that is all about stimming. Did you enjoy this video? Let me know uh, if you have any experience with it at all, or if you know any other toys that are helpful to it, I'd love to hear. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye.